I'm excited. I think there's going to be a lot of competition in that defensive back room, and that's good. You know what I mean? There's a lot of competition in the D-line room, and that forces guys to raise their level of play. And, you know, I feel like we're going to have the DB room this year, and I think that's just going to be awesome for everybody. You go way back with the franchise. The talk of the sale. Have you met any other groups? What do you, what do you make of it? Are you following along? I haven't met any of the groups. I, I really try to distance myself from anything that's not with the players, that's not football related. That way when I get asked about it, I can genuinely say I have absolutely no idea. So I don't know, but I've heard nothing but great things about the people who are supposedly coming in. And I'm looking forward to just going out there and playing football this year. Is it exciting? Is it like when you think about a new era and all that, is it exciting? I think it's good to get out, get out under from all the negativity and all the controversy. And also a lot of things that have nothing to do with football. You know what I mean? So we're here to play football and that's what we get paid to do. But a lot of times we be stuck answering questions about the ownership or what's going on in the front office. And to be honest, none of the players have no idea. So it's really just a waste of time from the players' point of view. So to not have to deal with that anymore and really just be able to focus on football, which we've already been doing, I think it'll be good. John, when they wrapped up Duran and you know he was coming back, how happy did that make you feel? Man, I love it, man. I'm, I'm not even happy for myself. I'm happy for him because I've seen the work he went through. You know what I mean? I know him. I know his family. I know his mom. I know his sister. I know his brother. And just to know that he's going to be able to take care of them, hey, man, that's what we're playing football for. Hey, John, what are you looking forward to most this season? Man, I'm just looking forward to going out there and just having another year playing the game that I love, man. I'm not going to really put too much expectation on it. I'm going to my standards. And uh, I'm going to go out there and do what I got to do to make sure I'm playing the best football to help this team win games. Have you talked to Chase at all, um, just with his obviously being declined to see what that means for him going forward? Have you had any discussions with him on that? I haven't talked to him about that specifically, but one thing I do know in football is really hard to it's really hard to focus on things that are out of your control right now. So I mean, I, I really think from Chase's point of view, make sure he's healthy, make sure you go out there and play the best brand of football you can. And if he does that, he'll get all the money that he ever wants. With, with, with Gerard, people are going to think back to the one night on Sunday night football. You guys had to fight, but what, what is that relationship like between you two? It's great. I mean, me and Payne were playing with we've, we've been playing with each other since 2014, 2015. So. I don't think one night, one instance is going to be able to change that, you know, so as long as he's been great, we've had no issues, I mean, man, things happen, I mean, if you guys really saw football, a lot of people wouldn't like it, so it's just unfortunate it had to happen in public, but, man, you got a bunch of alpha males together, sometimes things spill over, but, I mean, as you can see from last year, there ain't nothing going on. I wanted to ask you about Federian Mathis, too. Where's he at in his comeback? And if you talk to him, how's he feeling? I mean, he's back. He's out there with us every single day. He's ready to work. I mean, I was telling him how I broke my foot my rookie year. So I understand where he's at mentally. And that, that's a dangerous spot for a lot of guys. But, man, when you come back after your first year of being hurt, you're hungry and ready to work, just like you're a rookie. So I'm looking forward to seeing him play, uh, play football this year. Did you have to put it, you know, adding pieces to the secondary? How much does that help you guys look Oh, I mean, it helps us out a lot. I mean, when you got DBs who can, who can lock down and play cover ball all day, it makes my job easier, Payne's job, Sweat, James, Kate, everybody's job easier. So I'm looking forward to it. Appreciate it, John.